What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE WrestleMania 21 on the original Xbox, heading towards the Royal Rumble. But first, a tag team match, player. And I would assume this series ends when we hit WrestleMania and win on the grandest stage of them all. That's my assumption. I don't know for sure, but logically, most of these in-game career modes end at the grandest stage of them all. And here we are on Wednesday, right? Wrestling is still happening. I am still here making videos. That stuff is still going down, facing off against the game and the big red machine in a tables match, a tag team tables match. And there is still wrestling to discuss. So bet your bippy Bet your bottom dollar that I am here to discuss it. Even though things are completely chaotic in the rest of the world, I'm still here to do my job and play the game. Anyhow, so, that being said, Ring of Honor has canceled all their shows until the end of May. They're just done with that. Oh, come on! Come on! Triple H! Seriously? Seriously? And it's just that easy to put me away. I'm gonna have to try again. That sucks. It's over. It's all over. I gotta hit rematch. Wow, that's just garbage. What the hell, game? Like, no recourse. Nothing. Just immediate, hey, as l if, if you get grappled by a table, guess what? You're going through that table. So... Unfortunate, but here we are. Now, additionally, AAA down in Mexico is also uh, canceling all shows indefinitely, and we don't know when they're going to be back to run more shows down there. So yeah, everything besides WWE running their shows in the PC is pretty much shut down, getting the F out. Except Come on, I grappled you. I grappled you. I did that. How? How? He warps to me. I... He warps to me. How about you, Triple H? What the hell, man? Kick you in the back. Get up. Get up. Oh. How? How is this even possible? What do I... Bro. This is... Bad. Put him on the table. Why does he get to do it and I don't? I don't understand the thing here. So, moving on from a lot of cancelizations happening in the world of wrestling right now. The WWE Twitter. Yesterday, uh, people were like, oh, it got hacked. It got hacked, right? Because there was some upside down text that got posted on their Twitter and it was like, the truth will be heard. Alright, sure, fine. That happened. They weren't hacked. I mean, it got deleted, but this is all part of something else. And, of course, immediately, Matt Hardy posts something similar on his Twitter, kind of stirring the pot, even though I don't think it's going to be Matt Hardy because he should be in AEW or not. Again, it could all be a swerve. We don't know, right? But I feel like this is... I Oh, no! The chair! Miss! You missed. And now... He, that's a... Alright, sure. And of course... Opponent at the Rumble... That? What happened? trying to take out the challenger before their title match this Sunday. Uh -huh. It was an honest mistake. You wouldn't say that if Triple H did it. That's because honesty isn't even in Triple H's dictionary. Well, that happened. And I guess right into the Royal Rumble World Heavyweight title on the line. So here we are. Royal Rumble, baby. That's right. So, number one, NXT has been airing those vignettes for supposedly Killer Cross. Number two, SmackDown has been glitching out that little glitch thing, the circle, which people are assuming is... Mustafa Ali has his hand thing, right? So, either of those 
that could be this whole Twitter hack, right? It definitely does not mean that, oh, they got hacked, or it definitely does not mean, oh, it's Matt Hardy. Like, there are things that are doing otherwise that are, you know, mysterious vignettes or glitches or whatever else this could be playing into for either of those superstars, if it is indeed them. So, of course, Matt Hardy enjoys to, st to stir the pot. That's what he does. But it is Wednesday, my dudes, which means that perhaps tonight, as they've said on AEW, the Exalted One should be revealed. And will it be Matt Hardy? Will it be Brody Lee? Will it be somebody else? Daniels? I don't know. But definitely tune in tonight. And I think they're still running Daly's Place. Again, that was kind of a little bit dubious as to what building they're going to be in on the show tonight. And I've heard that perhaps NXT is not going to air any matches tonight and just have, like, video packages and recaps and that kind of thing. And that perhaps NXT, which was in Tampa for their takeover, might not be happening. That could be up in the air at this point, considering everything happening right now with the virus and everything else. So all that is dubious. And your new sluggy two belts, baby. IC champ, world champ. I pulled the ultimate warrior. I'm here. I got two belts. Try and stop me. Here is your winner. And, and new. And new. Lillian. And new. Say it. That is a tag belt. Why are the cutscenes always holding the tag belts? Eric Bischoff got rid of the tag team division, and yet here I am still holding a freaking tag belt in the cutscene. What is happening? Now what, Bischoff? On the champ. The champ is here. Eddie. Eddie. Okay. Woo! On the third angle. With a broken freaking. Well. What the hell is the big show doing out here? He's not involved in this title match. This is all SmackDown, why do I care? How about SmackDown? Oh, slipping it in. Referee, turn around. I don't believe it. Angle has just stolen the WWE title from Eddie Guerrero, the master of lying, cheating, and stealing. And that's saying something, Cole. Angle said he was leaving the Royal Rumble as a WWE champion, and that's exactly what he did. All right, cool. But who won the Rumble match itself? Like, who won the Rumble and is going to challenge for either of our titles. There he is. It's true. Your Stand Olympic true. hero is once again the WWE champion. Mm -hmm. I beat Eddie Guerrero so badly that he still isn't medically clear to wrestle. I've overcome every obstacle that's ever been put in front of me. And that's why I'm the greatest WWE superstar that's ever lived. Is that who I think it is? It's me. It's the World Heavyweight Champion. What's he doing here? Unification match. Mm -hmm. Undisputed. You know, Kurt, there's one obstacle you've never overcome, and that's me. You tried to take me out, but I'm still here. I'm ready to return the favor. Oh, Teddy Long is here. Holla, holla. Hold on, player. You lay one finger on Kurt Angle, I'll have Vince McMahon strip you of the title and suspend you. This is my show. You feel me? If you're going to disrespect the brand separation, you're going to wrestle as a SmackDown superstar tonight in a handicap match against the Big Show and John Bradshaw Layfield. Oh, no. That sucks.
couldn't even give me a tag team match player? Holla holla. Or put me one on one with The Undertaker? Come on now. So Raw next week is confirmed to be at the PC. And I would assume so is SmackDown this week. We have five shows between now and WrestleMania in the PC. And I have to wonder how many more like other matches can they show and not actually work matches in again. I discussed it yesterday. It's a whole thing, right? But what I have heard is that they're looking to delay the Hall of Fame ceremony until later in the year. Perhaps SummerSlam weekend to have the Hall of Fame ceremony. And there is an ongoing rumor that we're going to see the actual, like, spectacle of a WrestleMania, not obviously in April, but in June at Madison Square Garden, perhaps. So, again, all rumors, and here comes JBL. All rumors, and all, you know, hearsay, hearsay and speculation on that stuff. But think about how many years the pay-per-view after Mania was all Mania rematches. So, they could easily do that, and have that be the spectacle, and the grandeur, and have it happen in the garden because why not? Granted, it's not an open-air stadium, because it's the Garden, but it's the Garden still, you know? It's that's still a, a big deal to run a show there. Certainly a pay-per-view there in the world's most famous arena. So, could be cool. We'll see. But again, I don't think it's really prudent to speculate anything at this stage, at where we're at right now in the world, to have any kind of real, like, alright, we'll do it in June or July. We don't know. This is like a once-in-a-generation, a once-in-a-hundred-years once type scenario. And you can't prepare for it. You can only react to it. And there's no way of really knowing how it's going to pan out in the next week or month or six months. Like, there's no way of knowing. So I'm not going to pretend to be like, Alright, yeah, it'll be fine in June because it might not be fine in June. So, anyhow, that is what's going on there. And I've learned... I've, oh no, the power, the strength of the world's largest athlete. I've learned from Andre and Kane, all I can do is uppercuts. Because those work. Cesaro style, European uppercuts. And build my meter that way. Because otherwise, what am I finna do? But it is handicapped, so that's gonna... I won the power game with the big show. That's not right. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. But, whatever. We build the heat on the big, nasty bastard. But he obviously reverses and hits those big knees, because he is the big show. The big bad show tonight. And yes, tonight, Wednesday. So, obviously, very curious to see how both AE dubs. Oh, come on, show. Come on, show. No, don't tell me on that. Seriously. Both shows tonight, for different reasons, should be very, very intriguing in terms of AEW and NXT. And Raw, the ratings for Raw, down and A. Why does... One. Two. Nice to see JBL didn't care. JBL's like, yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. How's that, Teddy Long? I beat the Big Show single-handedly, and JBL did nothing to help the show. That's really funny, even if the pin thing was broken. That's fine. I still did that. It still happened here as we head towards WrestleMania. And I guess Kurt Angle, perhaps. And Unification, perhaps. I don't know. Is there a show in between Rumble and Mania in this game? I don't know. We'll see. Let's hit one more for the day. Just one more. Kid, your performance on SmackDown was awesome. Way to go. I agree, but I'm more concerned about your future on Raw. Specifically, who's your first World Heavyweight title defense going to be against, hmm? I know exactly who he's going to defend the oh, no. belt against. You think I don't know that you three are plotting against me? Are we? Let's see how your little schemes play out when you face each other in a no-disqualification, triple-threat title match right here. 
tonight. Gee, Bischoff, that is totally unsurprising on your part. But also, I'm still IC champion. Like, is that going to get defended or mentioned ever again? Just kind of ignore that I never lost and have been on this streak of not losing? I'm wearing the World Heavyweight title, the big gold, but I don't, like, where's my IC title? Seriously. Like, that division was not closed down, like the tag team division was closed down, locked down, if you will. And I say again, who gonna stop me? Not Jericho, not Sean. I've beaten them both multiple times. So, oh, glitching out there. All the way glitching. All the way glitching. That's fine. Hey, you want to do that? I'll sit here and taunt and build my heat. I got no problem with that. Because y'all can both get that sl spinning slug buster. Orton pose. Because you ain't going to lose that easily, Chris Jericho, this early in the match. So yeah, just let me do my thing thing uh, all my own here and win this thing nice and easy peasy, as Asuka would say. Easy peasy. Hey, Jericho. Sweetness. Hey, HBK. Oh, uh, who's here? Kurt Angle's here. Kurt Angle's here to interrupt. Not cool, Kurt. Not cool, Jericho. Uh, Kurt is here to make sure I get triple teamed, and that is severely uncool. Severely uncool. Sean. 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 Nope. All right. So, I'm trying to face Sean and Sweetness. It's not going that well. I have the spinning slug bus, I just haven't been able to get it to work. There it is. There it is. No. There it isn't. Jericho. Spinning slug buster. Boom. Pin. Down and A. Why is this game so insistent on not letting me pin people when I'm hitting the button that needs to pin people? I do not. Cannot. Have not. Will not. Sean has maximum heat now. So that's a problem. Because don't you dare cause the victory here and tap out the Jericho. Don't you do it, Sean. Bulldog. Pin. Here we go. Of course he did that. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. A horse is a horse. Of course. Of course. What the hell? You know what? I'm rolling away. You guys fight each other. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. The walls of Jericho. He's locking it in. I'm at the ropes. So it doesn't matter. I'm not going to tap at the freaking ropes. You guys want to fight each other now? You were doing that before. What? What happened? Jerky, come on now. Not cool. Yeah, you do that. And you do that. And Sean can... What is Sean doing? Oh. He's tuning up the band. Sure, Sean. Tune up the band. You ain't hitting me. You can hit Jericho. And now I can I get you. Knock you down. Twist of fate. And then Jericho. Oh, I could have had him. Well, sort of. Sort of, but not really. This is going to be a nightmare factory. Because triple threat in this game. Spine buster. Because the game will not let me pin easily. One. Yeah. And by the time I actually manage to get a pin in, someone is doing something else. And it is an absolute problem. So building. And the other problem here is that trying to change the attention with Kurt Angle on the outside, when you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances drastically go down. You can't even get things done, because it keeps focusing on a guy who's not even in the match, which is Kurt Angle, which is garbage. 33 and a third percent chance. That's all I got. A sacrifice. All right, maximum heat on Sean. Sure, do that. That's not what I wanted to do, but... Jericho, spinning, slug. Buster. Oh, I wanted to knock him down, and I couldn't knock him down. So now Jericho gets up, even though he's in the deep red. 
and I want to pin the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. Sean just pop right back up. Right back. Tap him out. Tap him out. Tap him out. Tap him out. Woo! Shouldn't have been posing, Sean. Shouldn't have been posing. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. Master Lock Challenge. Kurt! They don't cut each other any slack in the ring, JR, but they're all raw superstars when the match is over. And not just superstars, King, but superstars who have a lot of respect for each other. Incredible competitors and incredible human beings. And there we go for Wednesday. Thanks for watching. More videos on the road. WrestleMania right here. Tune in. I'm Attack Slug. And I'm out.